Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. You can use something like an inner system communication bonding termination, a media ground bar, to extend a grounding electrode conductor. And let me show you what I'm talking about if you're new to the game. This is a media ground. We've been required to put them in for some time now. And this is one of the greatest ways that you can extend or add bonding jumpers for one or more multiple grounding electrodes or other bonding jumpers. And we're going to find this spelled out in 210.60, or excuse me, 250.64, specifically in F. And this is one I really had to dig for. I knew it in my heart. I understood it intellectually. And I, I got it, but I had to really dig in the code. And it's kind of vague a little bit how it states it but if you use nfpa link and this is not a commercial for nfpa link not a sponsorship anyways but i highly recommend purchasing and using nfpa link which is the online digital code book not only does it show you the answer but it has in enhanced content with pictures in a lot of places and that really helps you fully grasp and understand the code so the answer is yes. So I am allowed to have one ground rod over here to the left and come to this inner system termination bar and then have one over here on the right and come over to this inner system uh, communication bond and then have one of them go to the service enclosure. Let's say we had a meter disconnect combo outside. I drive one ground rod on the left, terminate it to the left of this bar. I drive one on the right, I terminate it to the right and I let that one extend through onto the service equipment. And you are allowed to do this, but there's a couple things that we need to watch out for when doing this. For one, it has to be a termination bar that's listed for grounding and bonding. For two, it has to have enough spaces available in order to facilitate all the grounds that may be needed. And that's up to you and your electrical inspector. There are some size requirements of this bar, and it must be securely fastened. But the main thing that you need to watch out for is that whatever wire physically travels to the service enclosure or to wherever you're making that first point of connection, that wire has to be full sized. And what I mean by that is, let's say we were doing a ground rod to it and we also brought the water line, uh, water line ground to it as well. Well, one of them is only required to be a number six, but that water line ground would actually be required to be a number four. So a number four, you know, you can have a number four from the water line to this termination, a number six from the ground rod to this termination, but the wire that physically goes to the service enclosure or wherever you're going has to be based off the largest of the two. So in this case, it would have to be a full size number four heading to the service enclosure. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add a little bit of value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.